hello guys welcome to another flutter video so today we'll be creating a basic uh, our reload button so uh, this is how it works so first of all we can increment the value uh, we have pushed the button this many times and then as soon as we hit the reload button you guys can see it uh, goes back to zero so this is what we'll be building today using the flutter uh, block pattern so uh, let's get started so guys here in my visual studio code i have uh, the folder the flutter folder which is given by default so in the uh, flutter folder i have uh, inside the lib folder i have the main dot dart so this is um, given by default a code um, given by given to you by flutter so let us uh, debug it and let's run it so so basically we are going to build our app uh, based on it so let's see how it goes so it's building our app so by the time let's create uh, three new files so inside my lib folder i will create uh, two more new files uh, one will be like uh, counter.dart which will basically contain our classes and the other will be uh, our block part so this part uh, let's rename this and so this will be our counter uh, block.dart And that's fine so in our main dot dart uh, for file you can see that we have uh, been given a, a floating action button uh, by default by flutter so we are going to basically use this one and also we are going to add another floating action button so let us just add meanwhile our app just builds up so let's add another floating action button and before that let's uh, add a row because we uh, want uh, because we need basically two floating action button uh, for this uh, project so uh, in inside the floating action button widget let's just wrap it with a new row so i'm going to wrap it with a new row so our app has been built so as you guys can see i have my emulator up here so as you guys can see and when i press this but a button uh, it basically counts it keeps track of the number of times this button has been pressed so this is what you get by default in flutter so it uh, shows up here you have pushed the button this many times and this is basically an increment button so as soon as we hit this uh, hit this button it just in increments the value so and after that uh, let's uh, basically so now we are going to add another uh, floating action button right out here or maybe here but um, in the same row and that will be our refresh button so let's uh, just add it so here we have our row we have wrapped our uh, this floating action button inside a row so we are going to wrap it uh, inside the row widget so let's uh, just copy this part and let's just uh, paste it here let's save and here we can get two floating action button <clears throat> so let's uh, change this icon well, we basically want a reload or uh, there is no reload so basically we want uh, let's say refresh and this will not be increment it will be just a uh, refresh so that's fine and we need a size box uh, to uh, give some spacing between these two buttons and also we want uh, these two buttons are in here not in here so let's uh, just first adjust the position of our button so i'm going to uh, so inside my row uh, i'm going to go to main axis alignment which is the main axis that is horizontal so the main axis alignment dot end which will basically keep our buttons uh, right out here so let's uh, just reload it so you can see our our buttons are in here now and we need some uh, space between them so let's uh, give it a size box size box of width around let's say eight and let's save it uh, i forgot to put the comma excuse me so let's uh, so it's looking uh, good now but uh, here you guys can see that if i hit the reload button it just basically uh, uh increments this value but we want it to like uh set the value back to zero so we are going to do it in our business lo logic part so first uh, in our block part uh first of all let us uh, set some classes so basically we are going to create a super class so or extra class extra class and we are going to name it like counter event 
counter let's say counter if and this is a class and after that uh, we'll um, create two more sub uh, subclasses one for increment and one for refresh so let's say class uh, let's say increment extends uh, counter event and after that uh, basically we don't need the space out here so let's, let's remove it and after that we uh, we're gonna need to create another uh, class uh, which will be like uh, refresh and uh, extends uh, counter if so our uh, uh, main class and two subclasses are set so basically we are we need to do put some actions uh, inside it so here comes the block uh, business uh, logic component part so to apply block in our flutter app we need to first import um, the dart async and after that we need to import our uh, counter dot dart package so let's import it package uh, counter uh, dot dart and after that uh, we need to create a class which will be our the block or the block class so let's create a class and let's name it as counter uh, block so after uh, after creating this class we need to first uh, e initialize our counter value so it will be uh, set to zero uh, by default so let's set it to zero so our initial value of our counter option is zero so after that we need to um, so after that we need to basically have two parts one for uh, state management and one for event management so uh, let's uh, first uh, create our state controller so i'll just create a final and i'll just create a state controller so i'll name it as uh, counter uh, state controller uh, what am i typing controller and which will be uh, and we need to put a stream con uh, controller we we need to assign a stream controller basically and the stream, the stream controller will basically uh, have input uh, which is of type integer so basically uh, we need to define in integer out here and after that uh, we need uh, we need a sync basically just uh, stream sync so let's uh, give us stream sync and and after that uh, we need to get uh, uh, let's say um, encounter which will be our stream sync uh, and after that uh, here we need to put our state controller sync dot sync so let's uh, go here and say state controller dot sync uh, that's fine now and after that we also need a stream so let's um, give a stream and let's say get uh, counter and let's uh, define basically our stream so let's uh, say stream uh, counter uh, state controller uh, dot uh, stream and our sync and stream are set for our counter state, state controller and now we need our, our counter event controller so uh, let's create an event controller So let's uh, give it a stream uh, controller and this event controller will be basically control the event of uh, our counter event class so let's give it a uh, counter event class and this uh, and after that we need to uh, give give it a sync so let's give a stream sync and say stream sync counter event and let's say get uh, get uh, let's say uh, pardon me for the background uh, noises actually there is uh, pretty much noise up here uh, let's give it a counter uh, event sync counter uh, event uh, sync 
and this will be just a uh, sync not a stream sync so uh, let's give this let's put it dot sync and so after that uh, we uh, so this is not a private uh, method so basically i hope you guys understand why uh, we are giving the underscore so uh, basically an underscore means uh, it's a private method and the sync this part will not be pr uh, private so we d don't want to give um, the underscore before it so uh, that's fine and after that we need to get uh, our listener so we are going to just uh, cr create a counter block method so let's create a method uh, which will contain our listener so inside the counter block method uh, let's give it a listener so the listener we want uh, is that we want to listen to this so counter event controller so let's uh, create uh, so let's give it a listener so inside the counter counter block let's uh, give this uh, dot uh, stream dot uh, listen because we want to listen to the stream so let's um, uh, give the listener as uh, map so let's give a map and after that um, this is uh, showing an error because we need to create um, a function um, a map function basically so let's create it so void uh, map and here we are we're gonna need to put our class out here which is the abstract class so i'll just copy it and i'll put it here and we basically want to give it and give it a map so let's uh, give it a like uh, an event so basically we want to give our uh, give this part uh, an event which will be map uh, with it so let's give the event as uh, say x so and after that uh, we need to um, and inside our map function we need to give um, the, the, uh, the condition so let's say if uh, uh, x uh, is say increment uh, we want it uh, we, we want the counter to go uh, say to basically increment so let's give it a plus plus and uh, else else uh, we want the counter to um, go back to its default value which is zero so let's say counter uh, is equals to zero and and so so our map function is uh, completed and uh, we need to add the final uh, value of of our counter so let's say um in counter so we have created this sync uh, in counter so let's uh, go up here dot uh, add uh, let's say we want to add an event so the event uh, would basically counter so let's say we are going to add a counter out here so the counter will be added based upon whether the event is uh, increment or or else so basically if the event is not increment then our, our counter will be basically set to zero by default so after that uh, we need to uh, dispose basically we need to dispose our co controller so we have two controllers out here so counter state controller and counter event controller and we want to dispose them to avoid uh, memory leaks so let's just uh, create a function uh, void uh, let's say uh, close and basically we want to close let's name it dispose not close so void dispose so basically we want to close our uh, controllers now so let's say let's copy it so so let's uh, close our controllers see uh, Let's close and do the same thing with my other controller so uh, our business logic part is all set and uh, we need to apply this to our main.dart uh, file so let's um, go and import some packages so basically i'm going to put it down a bit and let's import uh, let's say i uh, import uh, package uh, so you uh, want to import our counter and counter block.dart uh, file so let's import uh, counter dot dart and also import uh, package uh, counter block counter block dot dart so uh, our block pattern or the um, our business logic component has been imported so let's uh, just set it so uh, so in in here we have got a uh, 
uh, set state uh, and, and increment uh, counter function by default. So let's just uh, remove it. Uh, we also don't need this uh, in counter as we have defined it in our counter block dot that part. So let's just uh, replace it with uh, our block. So let's say uh, underscore block and let's um, name it as uh, let's say equals uh, counter block. And after that, uh, we need to create. Uh, we need to basically um, go to our body because we need to uh, set the block, uh, set the stream builder inside our body. So let's go. Uh, right up here let's uh, delete these comments we don't need them right now so let's just remove all these comments so after this um, we need to um, we, we need to add a st uh, stream builder uh, inside our body so let's uh, just uh, add a stream builder out here so wrap it with a stream builder you you can get the option so uh, we need to uh, give that uh, give it a child give the center a part our child so let's uh, give it a child and after that uh, and after that uh, we need to uh, like inside the stream builder we need to remove this object we don't need this part as object and for the stream part let's uh, call it uh, block uh, dot uh, counter so and also we need to give it some initial data so let's give it as zero and for the builder part it's uh, been built so let's uh, just uh, remove this part and the on press part basically and we're gonna add need to add or uh, let's say uh, block uh, dot uh, counter event sync dot uh, um, uh, let's say add uh, and uh, we're gonna add this part this increment part so let's uh, add it here it's a class so we'll basically take, take this part and let's give it a column and let's just copy this part and copy and let's uh, paste it here and let's uh, move it to refresh replace it to refresh and uh, everything is set and uh, let's see what else do we need uh, yes we need uh, the text part so uh, this text part is been uh, set to counter so let's uh, replace it and what else can we give here so the snapshot part let's uh, name it as async uh, uh, snapshot and this context say it's build uh, context and a sync snapshot let's the type so it will be d and these are snapshots so let's uh, copy it and let's uh, just uh, paste it here and it's um, giving some error oh, so uh, let's just give it as let's say a snapshot okay so let's uh, try running it and i hope this works so it's giving some error right here so uh, let's uh, try to look uh, what error it is being given so let's see there is an error uh, let's try try calling counter uh, basically everything is fine with our code so let's uh, try running it again so let's uh, stop this and let's try debugging it again so um, it's looking fine out here uh, let's see if it runs this time so it should run so it's uh, showing some console error uh, basically it's uh, showing that uh, this uh, part so it's a, a console error and the code is uh, all right it's fine so uh, so let's uh, try to solve it let's see what it is showing it's uh, okay let's just uh, cancel it and let's just see if we have this out here so let's just um, run it debug it again 
so as you guys can see um, the error is coming from the basically the uh, ADB part uh, so um, the code is fine the code is all right because if uh, there would be some mistake then um, it would be shown out here uh, let's see now and it's uh, showing this error so basically as you guys can see here um, the app the, the code is fine the app is working because you guys can see right here that um, this is coming as uh, we are basically implementing this value so it's uh, going up it's increasing and if we hit the reload button it's uh, just uh, sw switches back to zero so let me again try to fix it uh, why it is uh, giving such a uh, problem like this so I think uh, there is something uh, going on in the uh, let's say let's uh, look at the debug console and it should not uh, show this part so let's uh, just uh, see so um, okay uh, so it looks fine uh, just let's say uh, I don't think this one will work. So, guys, that's it uh, for this video, and I'll uh, make sure I'll solve this part, and I will um, uh, make probably make an another video, and I'll just uh, also explain why this error is being shown here so basically we um, don't want this part but, but it is still being shown here so i hope you guys uh, like this video and i hope uh, this video was helpful for you guys so um, as you guys can see our code is uh, basically fine and this part is working but i don't know how, why this error is being shown and why it is coming like this so um, i'll be making more uh, videos based on flutter and i uh, uh, hope you guys will join my journey and um, do subscribe to my channel and uh, see you again uh, in the next video till